Hey guys, so today you and I are going to talk about experience. So let's get into it. So the question in question was, Frederick, as a software engineer with a few years of experience, what has helped you the most to land a good job, top coding skills, system design and leadership skills? Well, I wouldn't go as far as to say that I have top coding skills, but I, yeah, uh, I, I, I think that I understand what you're going for. I'm, I'm just trying to give you some fake humbleness. I mean, I know I am like God's gift to programming, but since people, it's, it's you need to be humble. In my culture, humble is, is everything. You have to just internalize that you're awesome. But. I'll try my best to answer this question as well as I can, uh, because I think that there are multiple things going on here. But okay, so the first part, what helped you the most when it came to landing a good job? So my first job was absolute shit. I'm going to be completely honest with you. I uh, I hated almost every single moment of it. Well, I didn't hate the I didn't hate the process of coding. I hate the hated the environment I was in. It was enormously stressful. I was fresh out of the university and I was put in a situation where I, I, I really was ill-equipped to deal with it. Uh, it was not going well and there was a lot of pressure, a lot of uh, emotional uh, and in a few cases verbal uh, punishment uh, to be taken. But uh, as any tr good trial of fire or baptism by fire if you will, uh, when I was done with it and I came into the, f the most important job that I've ever had, I realized how m prepared I, I had been, like how, how much I had tested my dedication to this profession and this role that I have uh, and how valuable that was for me. Uh, I look back at that time now and I really I still shudder a little bit because I remember how it felt at that time today I would have I mean with the skills I have today I wouldn't even be I wouldn't even sweat it I would come I'm pretty sure I would completely nail that job at this point in time which is a bit of an uh, it's a uh, something to reflect on that uh, if I went back today I would be able to do the job uh, that's something that I've thought about many times but uh, the thing that made the difference for me to get the job that was the most important thing that at uh, the most important job that I've had uh, was pure and simple my enthusiasm for this profession for well not just for being a software developer just for IT in general I absolutely love what's going on in in our current slice of the timeline uh, I love it like I love I love what's going on. There are things that aren't good. I I will not lie to you. There are some some things that are not good about the information technology, like IT and all the things that we're doing. Uh, but on average, I love this environment. I love the collaboration. I love the innovation. Uh, I love having fruitful and enthousi enthusiastic discussions with people about different approaches, ideas. Should we do it this way? Should we do it that way? Like all of this stuff. I absolutely love it. And I mean. Uh, that enthusiasm and together with the fact that I have always been fairly good at being consistent with improving myself and doing personal improvement and regardless of what it is uh, it made my it made my CV strong enough because I could fill it up with quite a lot of courses and things like that uh, and it also gave uh, the the enthusiasm and dedication to the profession it it shines through even when you're inexperienced and even when you're very nervous uh, if you really do truly if you genuinely love the thing that you're doing it shows I'd like to think so at the very least many times it shows or at least for me it showed and so I and the thing that I tell people that is really required in order for you to make it into the industry happened for me. Uh, the, a very good company with a good work culture and teams and composition took a chance on me. And I mean, I was nowhere, n like, I mean, I still feel like the biggest fuck up that I could ever have been at that time. They didn't feel that way necessarily. I mean, it wasn't perfect, n uh, but it was, it, it, it worked out and I, uh, I f was so lucky. And 
I continued that process and today I have a fairly good job with a lot of responsibility, well, more responsibilities at the very least than I used to have. And it really comes down to that, to continuously improving yourself and looking for the next thing that is going to make you a better you. And that can be, a, it, that can, a, you, say, you may think that that's just something that happens with the tech stuff. And sure, in the beginning, that's absolutely going to be a factor that you need to get your tech skills up. But things such as leadership, and we're going to touch on that as well, and uh, personal uh, maturity and social interactions and like your own like outlook on life, these sorts of things do factor in here as well. So that's going to be my answer. I think that the main reason was the continuously improving yourself and really loving what you do uh, or at least for me as for what may help me the most to get my coding skills it's very it's probably going to be practically it's going to be pretty much the same thing now i went with a very wide well, I gotta, well, uh, in the beginning i was very laser focused on just a few languages to get the core concept of what programming was about and then i started like playing around with tons of stuff like i just dabbled in everything and tried to consume, 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 like really wide nets. Like I would try several different frameworks and different languages and like try to just consume and be a part of every newsletter that I could find, even in languages that I sort of didn't really know anything about and just be ex expose myself as much as humanly possible to all things related to programming. And it was very. It, it, it's got. It got to the point where today, after doing that for long enough, I start to realize that now it's kind of like a you know, like a kid running into a museum or an exhibition, and you just you watch, look at everything at the same time, and then you run around for long enough, and then you realize that shit, I've already seen this stuff, okay, and I've seen that stuff, but that room over there, I haven't seen what's in that room, and then you go in there and you check all that stuff out, and before you know it, you realize that you're actually not running around or, or rather you're not seeing new things as much as you're seeing things that you sort of already saw like there's they might be a little bit different but they're very similar and it's like you, you go from oh this is completely new to okay i know kind of how this works because it's very similar to that other thing and that's how uh, that's how my coding i get this together with the fact that i had enormously good mentors i had a chance to work with very senior co-workers who could direct me in the right way that is i think the most important factor like to have a genuine interest in to be really good and learn all the things and a really good mentor uh, that is the definitely the thing that gave me the coding skills that i have today system design skills i would say it's the same thing like it's the same answer to top coding skills uh, leadership skills uh, well in terms of leadership skills i think that that comes if all well, you're going to have to ask my team about that, whether or not I have good leadership skills or not. Uh, I have people skills to a certain point, where, and I mean, I do lead people, if that makes sense, but I wouldn't go as far as to say that uh, I'm an extraordinarily good leader. The thing that I usually go for, uh, because one thing I can pat, my back, and pat myself on the back and say that I'm fairly good at is to create a intimate connection with people and build trust that is something that uh, comes fairly natural to me to make people feel comfortable in my presence and to help them feel more at ease being themselves being more of what they are to bring out the confidence in other people to actually say what they're thinking and to contribute and to actually connect uh, that's something that comes very natural to me and it really comes for me that's something that i've had like a uh, it's something I've, that I've been able to do since I was a child. Like I've always, I don't know where or why I know, but I just know that, oh, if I'm dealing with this sort of person, I need to talk in this way. And, or, and if I talk with that person, they are probably better off if we do it this way. It's an example would be, do you know when it's time to do a trustful exercise with someone and build some initial trust? Or is it better to go to the pub with someone and have a beer with them? That sort of people sense like you think you have the sensation for people what what type of communication is going to be the best is something that uh, I have had for quite some time I've also had the opportunity uh, to work with a lot of people who have who, who, who are socially equipped themselves and as I've said before in a few videos that I used to be a martial arts teacher so 
being able to connect with people in that way and trying to understand uh, what another person actually needs to be a better version of themselves. That is something that has led, gave, given me the leadership skills that I have today. So what I want you to take away from this is that for me, uh, the thing that got me my got me contrib contributed the most to having a good job is number one, I a genuine enthusiasm for what I do. I love what I do, and I try to uh, try to consume as much as humanly possible. And uh, I had uh, I, I allowed my passion for what I do to shine through to the point where someone saw they saw something in me and took a risk uh, in hiring me. Uh, my coding skills uh, contribute completely to the same sort of thing trying to just be aware like expose yourself to stuff try to try shit out like build small projects and throw them away or uh, like you do something really serious and then have that fail for you just do things like in, be interactive with the coding profession and everything related to IT and get really good mentors I had such luck um, with my mentors I, I still meet them up uh, meet up with them uh, for afterworks every now and then because I just I want them to be in my life for as long as possible because they've taught me so much and I owe them so much uh, same thing with system design leadership skills uh, having a good sensation of people talking to humans and be, uh, being a genuine person uh, if you can get to a point with another person where you start to really understand what they need uh, if that makes sense, to really connect with somebody uh, and usually the easiest way to connect with somebody is, as I like to say, put your foot first forward because people are usually willing to follow someone's lead. If you are the one who is, you know, giving people, a, if you if you act a clown just a little bit, people feel more comfortable around you just as uh, with anybody. Nobody wants to be the first, so if you are the first one to initiate, usually people relax and then if you can really show people that you're genuine as much as you mean possible because being genuine is also something that relaxes people if you if you if you try to uh, like be ungenuine that usually makes people kind of restrictive and they don't trust you really so try to be genuine uh, and then really listen to people try to understand them uh, at an emotional level that usually is the thing that you need in order to start building leadership skills uh, at the very least and I think that that is the thing that has contributed the most at the very least uh, to my personal leadership skills there are there's more to it uh, than that of course but I would say that, that will, that's one of the main factors have a great day